How to wrap text around a graphic in InDesign. Um, I'm in the InDesign application. I've got a document, as you can see, and some text. So I want to get this text to wrap around a graphic. So let me show you the graphic that I'm talking about. It's this one on my desktop. I want to show you, just to give you a preview. Um, it's this object right here. And it's actually very large because I want the detail to, sh the detail to show up. So um, as you can imagine, I want this to be on the left side of the page, and I want the text to wrap around the edge of this graphic and move the way this graphic moves. So let me close that, go back into InDesign, and I can do that by clicking on the, going to the toolbar and looking for the rectangular framing tool right there. And I'm going to just kind of draw a box. Um, I'm going to go beyond the bounds of the page and then just let go. And then I'm going to place an image in that frame by going into File, Place, looking for that graphic. There it is. I'm hit OK. Now by default, it's going to import the graphic um, uh, as large as the graphic as large as the graphic actually is, which is it's a very large graphic. So I want it to fit proportionally to the frame that I've drawn. So if I look up into the ribbon, which this is the ribbon at the top of the application, I'm looking for these tools in the far right. And the one I want to use is the fit content proportionally. So I'm going to click that. And then now I'm getting the look of the graphic that I want to get. But I'm not getting the text rep. So to do that, there's probably a couple of ways of doing this. But the way I like to do it is to go to the pen tool. And I'm going to click out here and click. And, and then when I click again around this curve, I'm going to click and hold it and pull so I get that those two anchor points and it's pulling the line and then I'm going to click down here again I'm going to click I'm left clicking left click hold and then pull it straight down and then let go and then again right here I'm going to click hold and pull it just like that and I may not get it perfectly lined up the first time but the nice thing about this let me just finish these connections because it wants you to end where you began. So I'm going to click there. Now I have a complete line drawing there. Now I can go back to the directional pointer tool, click on that little anchor point, and maybe refine this a little bit. As you can see, I can pull that one little anchor point and do some things like that. And I could do that throughout the, I could spend some time doing that. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing that right now. Um, I also want to get this graphic to the foreground and the way I can do that is to click on it and right click and then arrange bring to front that way I'm not seeing those black lines showing through I'm still seeing a little bit of that right there so I'm going to take some time just to clean that up I want to click back to the it's like I, I want to manipulate the anchor so I'm going to click the second arrow from the top this is the directional pointer tool I'm going to click on this and actually I need to take this point and bring it back in a little bit so and just follow it around a little bit it's basically doing what I want and that's good now my line has a black line to it I could make that I could give that no fill if I wanted to but it doesn't really matter it's all off the edge of the page so it's not all of this stuff on the outside of the page is not going to print of course but only the only thing that's going to print is what we see within the bounds of this page so I'm happy with this um, to get the text rep, I want to click on the line drawing that I did with the pen tool. And then I also want to select the text. I'm holding down the control key to select the text. Now I have both things selected. Actually, let me try that again. Okay, now I have both things selected. And then I'm going to go back into the ribbon. I want to look for the wrap around object shape and then click that. And now I get that text wrap that wraps nicely around the object and it's really cool really cool effect um, maybe I can zoom back a little bit um, by hitting control minus and just give you a better look at how that's looking up and down the page so it's pretty much that easy so go into InDesign and experiment with that a little bit you can change the way the the distance of the text from the object by moving that the line drawing that I did and um, just explore that on your own. And that's all for this video.